Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a stocks widget to your iPhone home screen. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is either use the built-in stocks app, or you could always just go to the app store and download and install a third-party stocks app. But I'm gonna use the built-in one here. I'm gonna open it up. And the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is tap on my symbols at the top left and hit new watch list. Essentially, what you want to do is choose the specific stocks that will show up in your home screen. So I'm going to name this real quick and hit save. So now that I've done that, I can search for specific stocks. So I'm going to choose Apple here and I'm going to add Apple. I'm going to oh, on home screen, hit add symbol Apple again, hit the little plus. I'm gonna also add Microsoft, if I could type. And I'm gonna lastly add Alphabet and hit add. So just like that, I've added these three specific stocks on here. Now I want to add them to the home screen. All I'm gonna do is tap and hold anywhere that is not on a specific app. So the blank space, I'll tap and hold and tap the plus at the top left. Now all I have to do is scroll down until I find stocks on this list. There it is. And I can choose the format that I want. Let's choose this medium format and hit add widget. Just like that, I can tap on it and it allows me to choose the watch list here. I'm gonna switch it to the home screen watch list. I can show stories on here, show the name. I can show more details if I want to. I'm gonna hit so it always shows stories in addition to the stock symbols. And just like that, if I hop out of there, you can see all three of these different ones that we just added. And then in addition to it, it has the news. So I can just tap on it and it automatically opens up that specific app so that I can see more detail. I can tap on any of these different ones to show more detail. I can read these top stories, all of that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one.